It reconstructed the entire voting system and the mechanic weight. What is the purpose of the 15th Amendment? The 15th Amendment prohibits the government of the United States from denying a citizen suffrage based on the citizen's race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Why is this significant? The 15th Amendment is significant because it reconstructs the entire voting system of the United States and it changes all the mechanics and the, the rules of voting. It, it was one of the first amendments that uh, began to provide citizen rights to colored people and people of different races and people that had uh, previous conditions of servitude and it was something that nobody had ever seen before in our time and it was, it was a, a changing experience for people around the world. Now this amendment is also important because it was one of the products from the Civil Rights Movement which was very important in giving um, a lot of colored people their rights and it's something that most people tried to deny and they tried to stop them from getting these different rights that people had and this is one step that led to many other steps for freeing those colored people and slaves and, and the like from the bonds that they had in America. Do you feel that the amendment gave those citizens their rights right away and they were granted them immediately without question? No, I think that this is just a stepping stone to further rights that the that they would obtain later on and as history went by. And this was thinking about, you know, this is just that one right that they were given in this amendment and they didn't necessarily get all those other rights that they have now, but as time continues and more of the civil rights is looked upon, then they, they start to get those, those different rights that they wanted. What were some possible outcomes of this amendment? Some possible outcomes of this amendment included citizenship rights for colored people and slaves, as well as the, vo the voting rights that they received from this amendment. However, there were a lot of other fundamental changes in the U.S. because of this amendment. A lot of racially based uh, laws and rules and regulations began to change and we started to have termination and altercation of most of the racially biased laws, which is important because this, is, this opened up and provided more abilities for the African Americans and Mexicans and Hispanics and all the different racially um, ethnic groups. What do you think the U.S. would be like without this amendment? God, this voting line is taking forever. Good thing colored people and other races can't vote, otherwise this line would be a lot longer. Next. What is the 26th Amendment? The 26th Amendment gave voting rights to citizens age 18 and older. How did the amendment change the voting pool? It, it gave younger citizens more of a liberal approach towards their government and basically more freedom. When was this amendment ratified? Uh, the, this amendment was ratified during the Vietnam War because of all the student activism that protested against being against drafting into the war in the so they, people, the Congress made this amendment because of student activism. And uh, yeah. all right. So the 26th Amendment was ratified in 1971 because of all the student activism against going to Vietnam War. And
and why was this amendment ratified? It was ratified because a lot of the students were rebelling against being drafted at such an early age. <laughs> what did it solve long term wise? Long term wise. If it was not ratified, if it wasn't ratified, the students would have kept on rebelling. They would have um, kept drinking. They could have they could have went breaking laws because they felt they were untreated. They they felt they were treated unfairly because they couldn't vote and uh, some citizens that were age twenty one over could could do all those things. Alvin. 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 What do you think the U.S. would be like without this amendment? I think, I think 18 year olds will start drinking, smoking, and do really bad things. Do you have the illicit drugs? You trying to talk up? Yes, I will take a hit of that doobie. <laughs> That's some strong stuff, man. <laughs> what is the 19th Amendment? The 19th Amendment basically has to do with women's suffrage. So basically what I'm talking about is that it has to do with women's right to vote. So it gives women that right to vote. They want, they want to have an input in the government. They want to have their say. And it just kind of, it, it gives them that power, you know. And it, it's, it's really, it's a big part of empowerment to women. What spurred this event? What spread this event was that women really wanted their rights. They wanted they wanted equality. They wanted their power. So they they wanted that women's suffrage. They wanted the right to vote because it gave them that power. Like I had stated earlier, it gave them the equality. So they had a political say this way. They there were protests. There were marches. Women's suffrage. It was it was a big thing. It was empowerment for women. And so what they were really doing is they wanted equal rights. And this is it's a very symbolic of their their wanting equal rights. Was there a major event that caused this amendment? The major event that caused this amendment was World War II. I mean, the, the men, they were all out overseas. They were all fighting. They were, they were doing all that manly man stuff overseas and, you know, fighting the, the Axis in World War II. So the women back home, they really had to, uh, they, they had to take the roles of the men. So there was Rosie the Riveter, all, all that stuff. And they, they were basically working man's jobs. They were, doing, they were doing their shifts. They were working in factories. They were doing all this hard stuff. So it just kind of... That made them realize how strong they really were, and that the role in the, of the modern housewife that just wasn't what was right for them. So it led to that those protests and the want for women's suffrage. So it it really it was the main cause of this event. How has it affected our society and social view? It's really affected our society because it led us to see that women they were right. They really they did have equal rights. They were just as good as men. I mean, they might not have the same physical build, but they can do many of the same duties. Like back to how they were working in the factories in World War II. They were doing lots of hard labor. They were doing physical labor, things that you know men didn't think they could do because men thought, oh, they can only they can only work you know at home. They can only work with the kids. So it just kind of it really brought that forth. And how we are as a society now. I mean, that a lot of that is is because of this amendment. I mean. We've got women, they're, they're single moms, and you know, people respect that. They can see how hard they've worked and how strong that person really is. We've got equal rights. I mean, we've got other, other uh, amend not amendments, but policies where you can't hire a man over a woman. I mean, they have the same rights. So it's really just kind of led, it's led to equality through so many different things. And it's really, it's made a big impact on the United States. What do you think it would be like without this amendment? What would the United States be like without this amendment? Yeah. I mean, just imagine. Dude, it was a heck of a long day at school. Tell me about it. Bro, my mom best have made me a sandwich. 
Man, my sister made me a heck of a good sandwich the other day. It's like, I mean, I guess that's what they're good at, right? They cleaned in my room. Yeah. It's a good thing they can't vote. I mean, could you imagine that? <laughs> Guys, I feel funny.